so here beta our today's topic that is plotting graph 3 that is quadratics as I explained that to you before that quadratic equation that means having power 2 of variable means maximum power 2 will be there okay for a minute you have to keep in your mind that the uh, graph of uh, quadratic so that will be parabolic okay okay and then and also that fundamentally that as you know that uh, plotting a graph plotting graph of any equation so you have to consider three points over there and then uh -huh. you have to plug in the three values of x regarding to that one you will also get the three values of y okay. and that will be your order there and you have to mention that on graph and that will be your graph okay yeah. let's see that what is here we have learned how to plot the straight line graphs for the points of equations yes next so we can do the same for the equations that do not have a straight line graph in this lesson we will focus that quadratic graphs yes suppose that y equals to x square as i explained that to you that uh, quadratic graphs that quadratic equation that was having maximum power two okay okay so one by one so here you can see that y equals to x square that is your equation one by one you can plug in the value of x yeah. like x equals to zero x equals to one x equals to two or something uh. yes so mm -hmm. you can see here we will take three values like minus two when you take minus two then you will get the value of y that is four okay uh, okay when you will take that x equals to minus one then you will take value y equals to y and when you will take like zero then you will get zero then one then one and then two then two sorry four so here you can see that uh, means minimum four or five points that will assign you a uh, figure which will be like uh, parabola like this okay yeah when you will connect all of your points so this is your parabola you can also understand that before uh, means whatever that is given in your online book that before that manually I'm explaining that to you it is your top opening it is your top opening so here at origin point that is your uh, minimum point okay or minimum value and uh, if the if your parabola that will be downwards opening so the highest point that will be your maximum point okay okay understand yes sir. yeah this shape is known as parabola so let's move to the next one. Oh yeah that is the same thing it is your top opening okay so that's why this point that is your 0 comma 0 that is your minimum point having minimum values over here okay? okay yes we can also understand this one as sometimes it is called turning point okay uh. as we go through the lesson we will study we will see that the maximum or minimum that can sometimes be tricky to plot so that means, means why they are saying that tricky to plot that means so when you will see that from which point your graph will change its shape okay or uh -huh. just opposite so you can see that it is coming from here 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 up to zero uh -huh. and then you can see that your graph is just coming means the same but opposite end okay uh -huh. So that's why that it will be 
yeah miss this will also be a like a sign potato a sign potato that means uh it is also just like a line of symmetry that which would like to divide the given figure into two parts okay, okay. understand yes sir it may require some trial and error but you should always plot the maximum or minimum if you can yeah mm -hmm. yes we can draw the maximum and minimum to plot the group quad good quadratic graph what you need to look is for where the y values is start to repeat yes so they are saying also that suppose that if you want to draw a good quadratic graph so you have to be very careful you just have to see that where the graph is repeating itself okay yeah where the graph is repeating itself okay understand yes sir so here you can see that the graph is repeating itself at 0 comma 0 uh yes you can also see that the value of y starts at 4 go to 0 and then starts going back to 4 okay okay here 0 is the y value of minimum okay uh, uh. this change the direction of y values is what we need for plotting accurately okay okay do you understand that uh. yes so now here they are giving a question that plot the graph for these equations by making a table and drawing the dots remember to include that the points remember to include the maximum and minimum and the point on both side of itself yes that's right so as i explained that to you that one question that i am telling you so here you can see that everything that is in means a ready form or regular form so you can see that only you have to plug in the values like x equals to 0 okay Means is zero. You can plug in. When you place x equals to zero, so you will get that y equals to how much? Say it got struck by guns. Pardon? Ah, uh, clear. It's clear. Yeah, I am asking that when you plug in, means as the fundamental three. process is that when you plug in, yeah, the three is okay. When you plug in x equals to one. Zero comma three, zero comma three will be here. Ah. Okay, x equals to one. Wait, zero comma three that we have to mention over there. Zero is here. Ah. Three is here. Okay. Okay. So the first point will be here. One. X equals to one. So ah. y equals to four. Y equals four. Yeah. So one comma four, that will be here. Okay. Okay. And uh, x equals to two. X equals to two to the four four three seven. So y equals to it will be. Seven. Seven. So two comma seven. Two comma seven. That will be here. Okay. Okay. So I think that three points you are seeing that uh, you can imagine that zero comma three that is your minimum point. Uh -huh. You can also take that minus one. Uh -huh. Okay. When you take minus one, so you can take that uh, four. It will be okay. Okay. But it's so, not there or the value. Minus one comma four. Okay. Yes. And then minus two. Ah. Uh, seven. 
and then you'll get seven there. Oh, great. So you can see that it is also the type of parabola. Okay? Uh. So now you have to do one thing. You have to join all the points like this. Uh, it's, it will be a parabola. Yeah. It is your parabola. They are asking that to do all of your points lie on the parabola. So you'll say yes. And 0, 0,3 is your turning point or you can say that uh, minimum value. Okay? okay? Or minimum. So yes. Did you plot the minimum? Yes. That's value is 0, 0,3. Uh -huh. Yeah. And did you plot the points on both sides? Yes. We also plot the points on the both sides. Points that will be on both sides in the condition when you will plug in positive and negative values of x. Okay. Understand? Yes, sir. Great. Now, you can tell me that what what values of x that you will plug in. So, next question, you can see that. Why not? Uh, you are saying that one, one, uh, six, and you'll get six. So one comma six that will be your point. One comma six that will be here. Yeah. Next. Uh, two. Two. And it will be two, three. Three. So two comma three. Two is here. Three is here. Okay. Next. Uh, three. Okay. One, two, three. Three. Okay. Three. Then it will be one. So it will be one. Okay. So three comma one. 3 comma 1 that is here okay then you can take minus 1 okay you can take minus 1 minus 1 then it will be minus 6 minus 6 minus 1 it will be minus 6. And it will be minus 6. Minus 6. Yes. So minus 1, minus 6. So minus 1 is here. Minus 6 is here. Yes. Wait, hold on. Minus 1 and minus 6. Oh. Are you sure? Yeah, no, no, no. Plus 6. Yeah, that's right. That will be plus 6. Minus 1 plus 6, the next point, what we will take? 1, sorry. We will take 2 square, minus 2. Okay, minus 2. And then what's your value will be? Uh. Three. Three. So minus two comma three. Minus two comma three is here. Okay. So click next to see your 
answer okay yes so when it will be like this how is it possible yeah three comma one you are getting value three x equals to three oh my god when you plug in x equals to three how will you get that value y equals to one sir if it be minus two yes it is and minus two yeah that will be minus two I didn't tell at that time because I was thinking that three comma minus two will be here. Ah. Uh. Yeah. So you can see that. Do all the all of your point lies on parabola. Yeah, that's right. Always remember that there are, you are seeing that five vacant places with respect to x. You are seeing there. So at least that you have to do that like. Uh, One, two, zero, and then minus one, minus two. Okay. Ah. Okay. So you can see that what will be your maximum value? Did you plot the maximum? Yes. That value will be seven. Zero comma seven, okay. Okay. Yes. Did your did you plot points on both side? Ah. Yes, we also plot the points on both side. Give me one second. Are you able to hear me? Yes, sir. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's move to the next one here, and the other question. So the next question that is coming. Oh yes, you can also see that the same type of but different equation, different type of equation that is also coming in negative variables, and means indirectly that you can see that it is your quadratic equation because having maximum power two, and also little bit it is like just like as zero x square minus x square plus four x plus zero. Which is also the form of x square plus b x plus c. That's why that it is known as quadratic equation. Uh, the graph will also be known as quadratic graph. Okay. Okay. Great. So now just think about that, and then you can tell me your values of x which you would like to plug in there. <laughs> You should have to plug in those values of x so that the value of y will be just like as, so that they do not exceed from the graph. Okay. <laughs> Do you think that I have to explain that to you? No, sir. I'm I'm doing all. Yes, yes, yes. Do you have pen and copy? Ah. Yes, because that uh, one by one you have to plug in the value of x, and then you have to calculate that, and then you have to tell me that what values that will be, that will be suitable to plug in in x, so as the value of y that do not exceed from your graph. Oh. 
that means value of y that should be uh, positive up to 8 but uh-huh. that should be that should not exceed minus 2 okay okay minus 1 also it's coming like minus 5 what so i take 0 yes yes we have to move okay. for that values okay. which will not exceed the value of y uh-huh. Moment. So first I have taken zero. Okay. When you take zero, it will be zero. Then it will be zero. Then one. When you'll take one, it will is it's three. It is three. Uh, and then three it is also three. So two it is four. Two it is coming four. Three is three only. Sorry, two it is coming four. Four. Okay. And three it is three only. Same. You are playing 3 and then 3. Yeah. Beta, you just have to see one thing. That uh, I told you that either 2 or 3 values that you have to take as positive x and then 2 or 3 values that you have to take negative. If you take negative, it's coming like some or minus 5. Okay, just tell me, okay, if you are plugging 3, x equals to 3. Then it will be 3. It will be 3. And if you take 4, it is 0. It is 4. Then it is 0. Then it is coming 0. Okay. So just see that I am going to plug in over here. After seeing, uh-huh. seeing your equation, you have to be confirmed about that your graph that should be parabolic. Okay. I am okay. plugging the values over here. 0 comma uh-huh. 0 1 comma 3 2 comma 4 hmm? 3 comma 3 4 comma 0 4 comma 0 4 comma 0 okay I think yes you get that yeah so in that way this light gray that is your maximum point because this graph is opening downwards okay uh-huh. yes means if the graph is opening upward then you will get minimum value mm-hmm. if that will be opening down uh, means downwards so then there will be maximum okay uh-huh. okay Do all of your points lie on the parabola? Yes. Did your did you plot the maximum? Yes. Did you plot points on both sides? Yes. That's right. Do you understand that? Yes. After your class, your this class will be up, uploaded. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now next is. Okay, there is an online test. So let's see that. What type of questions that are given over there? Okay, 4 minus x square, they are 
here is your equation so value of x that they are taking computer is uh, taking randomly so minus 2 there is 0 minus 1 then what will be value of y okay five equal to Three. Okay, three. Three. Zero. Ah. Four. Then I'll get four. Wait, four. And two it's zero. And two when you'll two when you'll plug in two then zero. Okay, so these points that you have to mention on your graph. Okay. Minus two zero. Uh -huh. Minus two zero that will be here. Minus one three. Minus one is here and three will be here. Okay. 0 comma 4 so 0 is here and 4 is here 1 comma 3 1 comma 3 and the last one 2 comma 0 <laughs> Yes, now we have to drag the crosses, oh yes we did that, and then you have to join that. When you join that then you will get your graph over there, and it is your downwards opening graph. That means having maximum value, okay? okay. Are you understanding that? Sir. Great. So now, come to the next one. Oh yes, here you can see that there is clearly a given a quadratic equation y equals to x square minus 6x plus 11. Complete the table of values. Okay, choose the 5x values so that you will get accurately so it's a shape and plot the points on the graph provided okay so you have to take five values of x related to that one so that you will get the value of y which you would like to express the graph of quadratic okay Yes, firstly by plug in all the values of whatever you are taking or as x just calculate the value of y then you can tell me because all those values of y that should not exceed okay. by minus 2 yes maximum of 8 and minimum of minus 2 <laughs> बेटा इतनी तेज क्यों बोलते हो भैया? धीरे बोलो। Are you trying बेटा? Yes sir. Okay okay take your time. Yeah till then you are uh, trying. I am coming in one second okay.
you think that I have to explain that to you or uh, you are trying? Uh-huh. You are trying that? Uh-huh. One is equal to six. Okay. So which value that you are taking as x? One. One. It's equal to six. Okay. Then why you are getting six? Ah. Uh-huh. Okay. And two is equal to three. Two you are taking and then it will be? Six. Oh, when you are taking then you are getting six. Then you are taking two then again uh, you are getting six. No, no, sorry, two, three. Two, three. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, three. <laughs> and then. three, two. Then three, and then you are getting two. And four, three. Okay, wait. Four, four, three, three, five, six. Five, and then you are getting six. 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 Yeah. So now we can mention this point to one six. One will be here and six will be here. Okay. Then two three two is here and three is here and three two three two three is here two is here four three four three that is here and five six that will be here so clearly you can see that where the value of y would like to repeat itself that will be your maximum or minimum point or we can also consider as turning point okay so okay. here you can see that th- 3 comma 2 okay by so this value was, can, yeah so it would like to change it was, it. no i can't see the plotting points you are not able to see these crosses that i mentioned on the graph yes sir are you able to see these cross which I mentioned on graph? No, 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 I can't see the results. Wait, hold on. That, uh, wait. Um, yeah. Now you are able to see? Now you are able to No? Okay, I can do one thing. I am going to call back you, okay? Okay.